Europe is famous for its bread and pizza for that matter, but there's one ingredient that they don't put in these foods and it's called potassium bromate. This chemical is a suspected carcinogen that's banned for human consumption in Europe, as well as Canada, Brazil, China, and India, but not the United States. So in the US, this chemical is used by some food makers, usually in the form of fine crystals or powder, to strengthen the dough, and it's estimated to be present in more than 100 products. Now in tests in lab animals, exposure to potassium bromate increased the incidence of both benign and malignant tumors in the thyroid, so right here, as well as the peritoneum, which is the membrane that lines your abdominal cavity. Now later research confirmed these and expanded on these findings, concluding that ingesting potassium bromate resulted in significant increases in cancer of the animal's kidneys, thyroid, and other organs. Potassium bromate also has the potential to disrupt the genetic material within cells. Now upon entering the body, potassium bromate can be transformed into molecules called oxides and radicals. These highly reactive molecules can damage DNA and may play a role in the development of cancer. Researchers have observed such damage in human liver and intestine cells where exposure to this chemical resulted in breaks in DNA strands. Potassium bromate can also irritate the lungs. Repeated exposure can cause bronchitis, which is inflammation of the lining of the lungs, where you get cough and phlegm buildup, and sometimes even shortness of breath. It can also affect our brain, leading to symptoms of headache, having foggy thinking, and even irritability. Despite the significant evidence of potassium bromate's harmful health effects, the food industry has long argued that it's of no concern in baked products. The industry claims that potassium bromate is theoretically fully converted into potassium bromide, a similar yet non-carcinogenic chemical during the baking process. So the heating uh, from the oven converts this to the benign form of the chemical, but the reality is that not all of it gets converted into this benign form. In fact, testing in the United Kingdom revealed that potassium bromate remains detectable after baking with six out of six unwrapped breads and seven out of 22 packaged breads containing measurable levels of potassium bromate. California is the only state to have taken measures to warn residents of the dangers associated with it, placing potassium bromate on its Proposition 65 list, which means that products that contain it must carry a cancer warning on their labels. But as far as the United States is concerned, that's it, just California doing that. Now, European regulators, they take a much more cautious approach to food safety compared to the United States. So one has to wonder, does that mean that the differences in regulations mean Americans have developed cancers that they would not have otherwise developed had they been eating European food instead? Although it's difficult to prove, it seems that this is to be the case. And it's actually not just potassium bromate that is banned in Europe, but allowed in the United States. There's other harmful substances like the ones that I'm listing here on the screen. So what is the FDA's take on this? They say that all food additives require pre-market evaluation and that regulations require evidence that each substance is safe at its intended level of use before it may be added to foods. Once that approval happens, so in other words, post-approval, Scientists at the FDA, they continue to review relevant new information to determine whether there are safety questions and whether the use of such substances is no longer safe. The FDA is on record for saying that when used properly, potassium bromate converts into a harmless substance during food production, specifically during the baking process. But like I said earlier, it's well known that not all of that potassium bromate used in any given recipe will convert during the baking process to potassium bromide. And so the FDA has even acknowledged this. In the United States, the FDA allows the use of potassium bromate as a food additive, but any food containing potassium bromate must be labeled as such. However, many bakers and food manufacturers have actually voluntarily stopped using this chemical in their products due to the concerns about its potential health risks. Foods that may contain potassium bromate include bread, including white bread and uh, whole wheat bread, some bagels, pizza dough, tortillas, English muffins, hamburger, hot dog buns, rolls, and croissants. Now, it's important to note that not all baked goods contain potassium bromate, and that many bakers and manufacturers have found alternative ways to achieve the same effects on that dough texture without using that chemical. So if you're concerned about the potential risks of potassium bromate, you can check the ingredients list on the packaging of baked goods, or look for products that are labeled as bromate-free.